Hi everyone, this is Sarah. I'm a student physical therapist from the University of New Mexico. And today I'm back on running medicine and I'm gonna go over hydration and um, fluid replacement during physical activity. So um, before we start, I'd like to go over a few basic definitions. Um, so first, we all know that drinking water is super important. Um, not just from a physical performance standpoint, but for your overall health. Um, and so there's two ends of the spectrum. You can have too much fluid and too little. So let's start with dehydration since we're more familiar with that one. So that occurs when you're not drinking enough fluid, specifically water. Um, and so some signs of dehydration can include like your pee is bright yellow, um, fatigue, you see a um, decrease in your performance or ability to like pay attention. Um, you could just feel, um, you could have like dry mouth and lips, cracks on your hands, or even the corners of your lips. Um, and you could also be like craving, maybe you're craving salty foods or other things that can be a sign of dehydration. Um, and so on the other hand of the spectrum, we have what we call hyperhydration, and that occurs when you actually drink too much fluid. And usually um, people, this occurs when people try to water load, maybe before a big race or even during the race. So um, this is commonly seen in like maybe ultra distance running or even marathon runners, well, they're just constantly downing water throughout the run or they water load like crazy the night before. And as a result, they actually drink way too much fluid that their body can handle. And so it actually negatively can impact your brain um, and cause like dizziness, headaches, um, fatigue again. And in severe cases, it can actually cause a self-induced coma and even can be fatal. So you don't want to be on either end of the spectrum. And so it's about finding that happy balance for you. And so one way you can do this is just to drink water consistently throughout the day. So maybe you drink 16, 24 ounces every hour or every two hours, or you carry your water bottle around you when you're at school or you have it with you at work and maybe um, every hour, hour to two, you get up to go refill it. Um, but at the end of the day, it's you wanna just try to drink water consistently throughout the day. And water is always the preferred choice of beverage, but obviously there's a place for other fluids such as coffee, tea, um, sports drinks, um, and other th whatever else you may enjoy, but as long as water is the bulk of what your, your fluid intake is, then there's always balance and room for other things that you enjoy. And so speaking of sports drinks, there, there actually is um, an important place for them in an athlete's diet, especially for athletes or runners who are exercising for hours a day especially in the heat or in the sun, um, it's really important to replace the electrolytes you're losing. Even if you're not sweating or dripping sweat, you're still sweating and you're still losing electrolytes. And so it's really important that you're still replacing those. And so sports drinks can come um, be effective in that role. Um, and they also, some of them contain carbohydrates which actually, if you are exercising longer than an hour, um, it's a quick source of fuel to keep your um, muscle glycogen stores fueled and keeping your blood sugar stable. So again, there is a place for sports drinks, but um, it's individualized and you have to look at the big picture of um, your training and your overall nutrition. But going back to hydration, um, so your fluid needs 
It does, like I mentioned, depend on how much you're sweating, the type of environment. So like, is it humid? Is it dry? Is it hot? Um, your overall fitness level and training um, program. And then also your body size. So like a small, I'm pretty petite compared to someone who's like six foot. Obviously our fluid needs are gonna be different even if we're doing the same workout, the same intensity. And so like nutrition and um, hydration is, it needs to be tailored to that individual. But a good rule of thumb is that um, you should replace about 24 fluid ounces so that's about what water bottle, a little more, um, for every pound of sweat you lose during the activity. So one way you could do this is you could stand, um, weigh yourself before and after your workout. And if you notice any lost weight after the workout, it's most likely um, fluid loss. You're not necessarily losing pounds but it's more water loss that you lost and so like if you lost two pounds from your workout then you should ideally drink an additional about 48 fluid ounces of water that day so that's one way you can do it if you don't have a scale you could just like I said monitor it with like what color is your urine um, like ideally it should be kind of clear to light yellow um, overall, your performance, how did you feel during the workout? How is your recovery? Um, are you noticing any weird food cravings like salt? Um, and so it's just important to self-monitor yourself and just be self-aware of um, making sure you're just drinking enough water and you're just taking care of your body and trying to listen to it when it tells you it's thirsty or when it tells you um, it is satisfied. So I hope you found that helpful and I hope you continue to drink your water every day. So you guys take care.